Amazon Prime Day 2018, what is Prime Day? Why is it the biggest day in online shopping? Amazon Prime Day has been dubbed Black Friday in July, but what is Prime Day? Why is it the biggest day in online shopping? Black Friday is the day for most retailers which signifies the start of the Christmas shopping season. Shops offer deals and see a massive increase in sales throughout this day, which falls the day after Thanksgiving. Amazon have introduced an event to rival Black Friday, with their Prime Day taking place every year in July. What is Amazon Prime Day? Despite what the name might suggest, Amazon Prime Day isn't a single day, but in fact lasts for 36 hours. These three days see Amazon heavily discount items across all of its departments, offering deals and can't be missed sales. Starting today at midday, the event will see over a million items discounted, however not all at the same time. Some sales will have limited time frames, whilst others may prove so popular that they sell out. In order to access the savings across Amazon, you need to be an Amazon Prime customer. This year's Prime Day is the biggest so far, with Australia, Singapore, Netherlands and Luxembourg joining the US, UK, Spain, Mexico, Japan, India, Italy, Germany, France, China, Canada, Belgium and Austria. Offers on items will differ in every country, with Amazon using the event to increase its Prime members and to highlight their own products. Why is Prime Day the biggest day in online shopping? Amazon Prime is an already highly popular service, with customers paying £79, or $99 in the US, per year for unlimited next day delivery and Amazon's video streaming service Prime Video. There have been around 10 million new subscribers to Prime every year for three years. Sales for the event are predicted to break last year's total by 40% making it smash Amazon's new single-day record, more than its 2017 Cyber Monday haul. Michael Pachter, an analyst at Wedbush Securities has said that Amazon Prime Day will be a drop in the ocean compared to their usual financial gain. Sales are only predicted to be six times that of a usual day, which is around 2% of Amazon's annual revenue Mr. Pachter said. Last year, the online shopping giant brought in a total of $177.9 billion in sales across both retail and web services. Amazon doesn't disclose revenue from past Prime Days, but predictions set it to reach $3.4 billion this year, according to retail think tank CoreSight Research. From Amazon's perspective, Amazon Prime members improve with age, said Amazon's co-founder Mike Levin. As more Prime members reach their third, fourth, or even longer anniversary, average spending should increase. Amazon Prime Day has forced other online retailers to up their game, with this year Walmart releasing new apps and online tools to help their customers. One such tool is a 3D virtual experience called Buy the Room for Home Shopping. Other competitors in the UK have faced depleting customer bases, with Tesco Direct closing due to lack of revenue. Argos has recently hired 150 technology specialists to try to compete with Amazon's domination in the British online shopping market. Argos chief executive John Rogers said, We have to compete with the likes of Amazon to keep ahead of the competition. The new recruits will be looking at voice technology, augmented reality and bringing together the Argos catalogue with the digital world.